was watching this movie, The Christmas Prince on Netflix, and we see Princess Amber practicing her archery, hitting bullseye every time. And when our protagonist Emily asks her how she got so good at it, she says, you've got to focus on what's important and not let anything distract you. Duh, that's where we are having the maximum problem on not letting anything distract us. Today, with the extremely connected world we live in, our brain is like a butterfly, always on the move, always moving on to what's new and what's next. So, while Princess Emily didn't really help here, I'm going to take you through a series of simple tricks to develop focus. Hi, this is Sheila and you're watching Lumia 24. Light on! I read somewhere that we have the attention span of 8 seconds, which is lesser than that of a goldfish. And today, with our multiple distractors, I'm sure it's even lesser, which makes it really difficult to finish our task or develop a skill. The ability to focus is critical for learning new things, achieving goals and performing well across situations. So whether you're trying to finish that report at work or competing in a marathon, your ability to focus can mean the difference between your success and your failure. This famous picture from Bhagavad Gita is a powerful depiction of our senses. The five wild horses are our five senses and the charioteer is our mind that holds the reins of the senses firmly. The message is clear. If you cannot rein in your senses, they will run wild and take you to places where you may not wish to go. And that in a nutshell is what focus is all about, the ability to control your senses. Now, if you're looking for cool shortcuts and hacks, you're barking up the wrong tree. Improving your mental focus comes down to plain, old-fashioned, highly unsexy work. It will take some real effort on your part and you may have to make some major changes to some of your daily habits. So, let's hit the mental gym and learn to turn your focus into a beast. Cue eye roll here. Yet, this is the simplest way to bring your wandering mind back to the present. And no, you don't need those soft cushions, or you don't need to sit in a lotus position. If you know how to breathe, you already know how to meditate. Just focus on your breath for some time. And if you find random thoughts wandering in, let them. Gently bring your mind back to the in and out of your breath. Do this when you commute, in the lift, while you're waiting for your cab, outside your client's office, literally anywhere, anytime. You saw that one coming, didn't you? Whether it's a chatty co-worker, your social media notifications, the music in the background, eliminate. Eliminate. If you need a chunk of quiet time, ask for it. Or find a library or a coffee shop to work in. I have done an entire video on how to eliminate distractions. Now, distractions can be internal too, like worry, repeated negative thoughts, anxiety, all you have to do is go back to point one. Really, there is no magic formula. Have you noticed that sometimes you're overpracticed or overtrained and you seem to be doing badly? This is because the brain is getting depleted by overuse and you need to take a break. So, the next time you're working on a prolonged task, such as preparing for your game, studying for an exam or writing your blog, be sure to take the mental break. Shift your attention to something completely unrelated, even if it's only for a few moments. My guilty pleasure is 15 minutes of some stand-up routine on Netflix. These breaks keep your mental focus sharp and performance high when you really need it. How often do we listen with half a year? while we are looking at our phones or letting our eyes wander. Next time, when you're meeting someone, put your phone on silent, put it out of sight and focus on that person. You can do it while you have dinner with your family, a friend's day out, a client meeting, your child's stories or your grandmother's rambles. 
it's great for your focus it's great for your relationships there are adult coloring books available use it to color the pictures it's a great way to sharpen your skills the more intricate the design the better it is if you cannot find these books use a kids drawing book that works too spend 10 minutes daily coloring those pics there are some great coloring apps on app store too look out for that i have tried to find the easiest exercises you could do to improve your focus but you have to practice regularly my favorite and most convenient one is right here in my toolbox this one is by far the most effective tool just breathe all you have to do is find a quiet corner and breathe in cover your right nostril with the thumb of your right hand breathe out from your left nostril inhale from that very left nostril cover the nostril with your ring finger and exhale from the right nostril breathe in from the right cover that nostril and exhale from the left this is one round breathe slowly and deeply and quietly no noisy exhalations here do 10 rounds to start with gradually increase up to 25 it shuts down your fight or flight response brings your thought to the present and gives you laser focus this is something that even professional athletes use to hone their concentration skills who you become is a sum total of what you pay attention to every year every day and every hour of your life i don't think that those talking cats goofy pranks and sassy baby videos those are going to do anything for you you will be amazed at how much your life improves when you pay attention to well your attention i hope this answers your questions of how can i improve my focus no matter what your profession training age or gender these tools work share this video with your friends family and coworkers spread the light folks and of course if you need that motivation to make faster changes reach out to us our coaches are skilled talented and committed to helping you create that change all details below